Tom Baco reports technology is changing the future of meat and its impact on the environment. Make no mistake, the over overwhelming majority of humans eat meat. They like its texture, appearance, fat, aroma, and most of all, its taste. But UN scientists calculate that livestock accounts for about 15% of annual human-caused greenhouse gas emissions, two-thirds of that coming from producing meat and milk. Livestock produce methane, a greenhouse gas 30 times more capable of trapping atmospheric heat than CO2, the main greenhouse gas. 45% of the non-frozen land mass is actually used to um, raise those cattle. Biochemist John York is the chief scientist at Redwood City, Oakland-based Impossible Foods, arguably the world leader in plant-based meatless meat production. We use science and um, our understanding of the processes of why humans like meat and then use everything from plants to reconstruct the chemistry and using science to um, make a, a product that tastes just like me. The magic comes from heme, a molecule that's in almost all plants and animals. Heme has iron in it and helps plant material take on the look, feel, and flavor of meat, especially hamburger. It mimics the chemistry of what happens when you cook a piece of meat. How is this good for humanity's home planet? On essentially the same acreage currently needed to raise cattle. It's 87% uh, less water and it's 89% less greenhouse gas emissions, which is absolutely staggering. Already, Burger King, Carl's Jr., White Castle, Taco Bell, Del Taco, Starbucks, and Subway offer plant-based meat on their menus. Plant meat contains no cholesterol, no animal hormones, or antibiotics. Consumers will decide. Besides the environmental and personal health issues, many folks pick plant-based meats on a moral basis to reduce the slaughter of animals for food. The Animal Place has a two-farm animal sanctuary in Vacaville and Grass Valley. In the United States alone, we kill 10 billion land animals uh, for people to eat. That's every single year. And it has a huge and negative impact on our environment, as we know. And Impossible Foods has lots of competition. The Plant-Based Food Association has gone from 22 member companies five years ago to 157 today, pointing to a rapidly changing future of meat. Just like the real beef Impossible Foods test that we did on the barbecue, we found the same thing at Burger King. Given the wide range of burger flavors, the difference is essentially imperceptible. Tom Vacar, KTVU Fox 2 News. KTV